Pastor Rob and I, sometimes we deal um, with a lot of uh, single mothers that feel like, if, if I just had a man, everything would be better. If I just had a, a man, you know, I got this child, I got this, this son, this daughter, if I just had a man. And they, they don't understand that the reason they keep saying that is because they're broken. And, and they don't understand that now because they're broken, their children or their child is sitting around them with a cup because they're broken. So the child is thirsty, the mother is thirsty, or the father is thirsty, and now the mother or the father is not pouring the love into the child. So it's not that they need love. They need God. And then God loves men's where they're broken. And now they can spend time in a relationship with their child. They don't need a relationship because they ain't flowing in the one they got. Is this helping somebody? I've watched interviews with people interviewing uh, grown children and adults, and they, they have a, a strained relationship with their mother and father because they said, well, we, you know, you, you allow certain things in our household. And we got hurt by it, and you didn't care because all you saw was daddy. Or all you saw was your man. Or all you saw was your woman. Well, what about me, mama? What about me? While you looking for love for daddy, he wasn't giving you none. He wasn't giving you no love. I'm sitting here, my little innocent love, I'm trying to love you, and you don't have time for me because you're chasing somebody that ain't chasing you. I'm sorry, I don't know where that's at. And he can't love you because you don't love you. He don't know your value. You ain't put him out and changed the locks. Oh, I'm sorry, let me... Let's, let's. Go ahead, Pastor Rob. And the beautiful thing about it is we think that other people can help us repair that breach, but they can't. They can't. But God can. Woo, come on. He can. Somebody he can. holler out the God factor. The God factor. Anchored in the God love. Anchored in the God love. There ain't no greater love, ain't no greater love than, God's love. than God's love. And he loved me so much. He loved me so much. He gave his son for me. He gave his son for me. So that I can realize I can't earn his love. He gave me his love. I'm receiving that love today. Come on and hug. Put a big arm around yourself. Come on, I'm receiving that love. What kind of love is this? Go ahead, Pastor Rob. <laughs> I mean, oh, Jesus. Go ahead. I mean, that, I mean that, that speaks for itself. Yeah. That's it. That is the salve that you need on your wound. That's the, oh, that, wow. that's the stitches wow. that heal you. So it's not a Band-Aid to no. cover up. This is a permanent repair that God wants to do. He wants us to, re okay, yeah, we've been through it. We've experienced Come on. it. We've had the hurt. But God says that's not supposed to be, that's not your life. That's mm -mm. your testimony. No! So you're trying to tell me if they walked in here today and they had these problems and they had these issues and they go, they've been going through that struggle. They just walked into victory. They just walked into deliverance. You just walked in your break. Don't you come in here today and feel damned. Don't you come in here today and feel condemnation. You came to be free. You came to be in power. That ain't why we up here preaching to show your imperfections. We preaching to give you truth to shut the light out. Yeah, you missed it, but Jesus did it for you, baby. Today is your up. Go ahead, Pastor Rob.